The worst run of hotels. Uh, uh, so this is just, I'm so comfortable there. It's nice, it's civilized, there's fantastic coffee. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. <laughs> Check this out. I stayed at a, uh, I stayed at a Super 8 in uh, East Moline. And, uh, and I, but I know what you're thinking. You're, you're thinking, well, I mean, you booked the fucking Super 8. What do you expect? But you know, even with a Super 8, there's a range. There's a range, you know, there is. And so I took my chances. I had this really hard gig. I played this um, brew pub, and they wanted me to play from 5 to 7, you know, on a Friday afternoon, like right as everybody's getting off of work and coming over to just get fucking plowed, you know. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I do, you know. I do what I do. They, they could have just put on a Jimmy Buffett record. It would have been better, you know what I mean? <laughs> nobody, you know, nobody, there's like 200 people in there, and, you know, 199 of them were ignoring me, and the other guy was asking me to keep it down, you know. <laughs> <laughs> seriously, seriously. The guy, one of the people from the bar I had this little tiny amp set up, you know, I'm like, I'm like setting up, and he comes over and goes, hey, we can hear that all the way across. The room. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you paying me for? Just give me the money, I'll just go then, you know? But anyway, so, terrible gig. I was sick, I wasn't feeling good. Uh, you know, my nose is running, I'm like tired. I'm, the gig was really like kind of sweaty and hot. And I had a really long drive the next day. I had like a 12 hour drive the next day. So I said, I'll do like five hours of it tonight. So I get to the Super 8. In, in East Moline, and I'm like, absolutely exhausted. I don't feel good. You know what I mean? I like look really bad, really bad. And uh, uh, and I like drag my. I got my guitar, and I got my case. I got my little, you know, hooked in here. I got my box of wine that I can carry for three or four days. It's all kind of squashed and scratched <laughs> up. But there's one more cup in there, you know. <laughs> like, as so I come into the hotel. And it was one of those hotels, like, you know, as soon as I drove, drove into the parking lot, I was like, oh, shit. You know, like, you, you roll down the way, you practically you smell, smell the meth, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I go in there, it's all, it's that hotel, you know, it's like all cigarette burns on the carpet, and, you know, oh. it's, all, it's just horrible. And I'm standing there waiting for the woman to finish checking me in, and at one point in the conversation, she goes, uh, now it's one thirty in the morning. And like my nose is dripping. I look like absolute shit. I feel terrible. But I'm like, I'm just going to sleep, you know. And at one point in the conversation, she goes, now, if you're going to party tonight, make sure you invite the woman behind the desk up to party. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, what kind of party do you think you're inviting yourself to? It's 1.30 in the morning. I'm 51 years old. I got one little cup and my, and my nose is running. Like She's inviting herself to the saddest fucking party I've ever held in the entire universe. Still a step up. Still a step up, right? Maybe she thought she was inviting her. I I did, you know, I, somebody else said that too. Yeah. yeah, maybe she was. Yeah, maybe it was something else, and I didn't really understand. You know? yeah. See how innocent I am. If I wanted to, like, a half of me, part of me wanted to say, like, you know, like, like, come on, come on up and party. <laughs> you know, it's just me sitting on the edge of the bed looking for Seinfeld. You could have gotten a song out of that. Yeah. <laughs> I, might, I might still. I got the hurt. Might still. <laughs> but there's been a whole, there's been a whole bunch of those. And you guys go gambling. You go. I stayed in two casino hotels. That, is there ever, is there a place that's designed to look happy that's any sadder than a fucking casino? No. I'm like, like, how do you guys do that? I'm like checking in, I'm looking over, you know, all the lights are and all the lights are going, you know, and everybody, every, people are just sitting there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's so sad. They pay they, for us to go. Oh, so you got, you know, I guess. I see. So you guys are like the four guys actually having fun at the yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can I tell you? Because I saw a couple people having fun, but mostly no. Yeah. You come with us, mostly no. Fun. <laughs> I, I, I love that. You know. We do not disagree with that characterization. <laughs> That's what we see the entire time. Okay. And we say just what John said. I'm so glad you guys are sitting there losing all your money so that we can do this. <laughs> People with families, you know, like old, you know, really old people in there. Oh, I got one more quarter. <laughs>
<laughs> they were, and they were giving me all the you know coupons and stuff. Hey, it's something off this game. Something I'm like, I'm a fucking folk singer. I ain't spending shit. Man. But, but they do. The rooms are cheap, aren't they? And the hotel is really nice. So I figured. I did figure that out. I'm like, all you're getting is the thirty bucks. So that's all you. <laughs> I'll trade you. I'll trade you a, 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 a folk record. You're a wise man. <laughs> so anyway. So it's been it's been nice to be so really comfortable. Here's another one I, I wrote with uh, my old buddy Slade Clues. Black T-shirt, parking lot, drone boots out back, smoking pot. Trying to grow, playing way up Just a little cut up on your brow. Principal said, Don't come back now. Every night, it's a scream and shout. Mama's new boyfriend wants you out. You know you're gonna pay for the things you do. You know what you put your mama Thank you. 